All right, what's up guys? Uh, this is gonna be something different. Uh, I'm doing something special for this uh, 5k subs. So I'm going to do something I don't usually do, which uh, which is an analysis of an invasion, but like I'm not talking as I'm invading. Usually you guys, uh, you know, everything on my channel is pretty much me streaming and talking while I'm streaming. This is some pre-recorded footage and I'm talking over it pretty much. So difference is I can focus on what I'm saying instead of just talking over my head while I'm focusing on the invasion. So I decided to just check it out the other day, like what it felt like to invade off stream because I had not done that in a long time. And uh, this is uh, this is what came out of it. What happened is I pretty much was completely alone for the entire invasion in a 2v1. And uh, you guys will see what happened. I'll try to commentate as to what I was thinking throughout the whole thing and uh, tell you about like my mistakes and uh, you know my good plays or whatever. So you're seeing me with my usual Dex Glass Cannon. I don't know exactly which variation of it I'm using, but uh, <clears throat> I come here, I see a lone host, and then he has someone which is uh, a red that's like helping out the host. So. Always my priority target to go for the red uh, because they're taking an invasion spot so I just take care of him right away and then I think this is about to be over because the host is pretty bad and you know this type of, of host I usually dispose of pretty quickly but then I see another phantom join in so I'm like oh shit this is an actual gank. And long and behold there is a third phantom and all of a sudden these guys ambushed me in a 3v1, so this was actually a 4v1. It's just that I didn't know, and uh, those two guys were hiding in the background, probably waiting to ambush someone. So, really, what what turned out to be something I thought would be really easy turned out to be really uh, hard to fight invasion. And uh, I'm gonna spoil one thing for you guys. Uh, at this point, I don't know yet, but one of the white is unscaled. I didn't actually check if the other white was unscaled, but I'll tell you uh, when I kill him. But I don't know at this point that one of them is unscaled at least. I should actually have checked if both of them were. But um, I know one of them is. Uh, the one that has the blue shield right there is the unscaled one. At least the one that's confirmed to be unscaled. I don't know about the other one. <clears throat> so here... I'm being a bit more on the defensive because while 2v1 is still manageable uh, even versus average or bad players like 3v1 is always more of a problem and I'm starting to notice nowadays that to manage some 3v1 situations alone I really feel like having 30% roll becomes a must because otherwise you can never get like see how much distance I'm getting from these guys it's so easy to get distant with distance with 30% rolling. Uh, as you guys might know, 30% uh, rolling is actually faster than running. So not only can you dodge while creating distance, um, but you can get some separation from the gank to be able to heal, reset, and do damage. So my way of dealing with a 3v1 is usually pretty like straightforward I don't always win my 3v1s of, for obvious reasons but um, I always try to aggress when I'm full and then try to back up when I'm not full so as soon as I take some damage I don't really focus on retaliating right away because that's usually what gets you killed when you try to engage when you're not at full health uh, because while one of them might not do that much damage alone. Usually if you get hit once, you're gonna get hit by multiple people. And usually that can mean death. So if you want to try to engage, always try to be at full health when you engage. That's definitely one of the best advice I can give if you're fighting a gank alone. Although right now, like I'm seeing that this particular guy is alone for a second. But then I see his teammate right away, so... <laughs> I try as, as soon as I see someone alone, I try to engage against them, but usually the other one is never like too far. Also, uh, I don't know if you guys, uh, if you guys have a lot of experience with uh, fighting multiple people at once, but they drain your um, your S to so damn quickly. 
because when you when you engage against multiple people the damage you output is usually far less than the damage they output all combined against you so as you're seeing right now I'm already out of my main Estus so while I'm doing some good damage and some good plays to retaliate against them I'm still uh, you know I'm still out of uh, of my main Estus but here uh, this guy gets a bit too cocky and he gets with punish there so at least I get one of them and uh, just at the price of finishing this guy off they almost killed me and broke my tier so I still managed to hit him um, if you rewind back that video this is at this very moment I looked at the souls count for this guy that I killed and I realized oh shit this guy was unscaled so I just decided to pull out the um, the bow here and decide to refill I would have probably tried to hide and refill earlier if I knew that this guy was unscaled. It's just that nowadays everyone is unscaled, you don't even know. Like, you should almost expect everyone to be unscaled until proven otherwise. It's pretty crazy, honestly. Like, I had no idea before, uh, you know, before this fight that one of the white was unscaled. I actually did not even uh, check if the other white was unscaled or not. I guess we're gonna see. Uh, Throughout this invasion, uh, when when I do kill him, if I do kill him, right? I'm not gonna spoil anything, but uh, yeah, I do kill him. So here, as soon as they lose one guy, like most gank, they retreat. They <laughs> gankers don't feel confident <laughs> when <laughs> when their crazy odds is not so crazy anymore, even though it's still in their favor. Uh, here, this is where I start to play a bit sloppy. Um, I, s I always have this sense of urgency when I you know do something that's good toward the goal of the invasion which is killing one phantom now I have this sense of urgency so I'm trying to kill this guy as soon as I can and you see me trading with that great axe so many times uh, again that's really this sense of urgency that's making me play sloppy there but uh, you should always take I, I don't want to say take your time because there is a real sense of urgency the the, the host is looking to summon like right now I went back to this particular spot to resummon and uh, you'll see uh, not like uh, in a bit he's, he is gonna get his resummon but here uh, good for me poison kicks in I managed to clear out the other guy I don't know if the guy is actually on scale or not I think I saw 8000 or something I don't actually know what that level would be but Here after we get rid of both the phantoms, now the host is alone and I'm like, okay, there you go, it's a wrap right now. And uh, <laughs> long, long and behold, the cavalry comes in, so at the very end of all of this, after killing uh, three guys, I actually get some help, like way, way, way too late. Like, they came in so late that I did not even need their help whatsoever, and the host gets killed on his summon lag from the phantom he resummoned or summoned. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed that. This is going to be it for me. Take care, guys.